Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. In this video, we are going to be comparing four different cartridges. I'm gonna be firing them at this concrete block. Let me give you a look at it. You can see there's the center, they're hollow down the center. And this is probably, I don't know, three, four inches wide there. But I'm gonna see how many shots it takes to split this thing completely in half using a 22 LR, a 17 HMR, a 22 WMR or 22 mag, and then a 5.7. Yeah. Real quick, let me show you the ammo. I got, I grabbed the fastest ammo in each one of these that I had sitting around the house. So for 22 LR, we got some CCI stingers. For the 17 HMR, well, what's the speed on these? 1640 feet per second. For the 17 HMR, I got some Norma 17 grain. That's over 2500 feet per second. Then for the 22 mag, I got some 30 grain. Supposed to be going 2,200 feet per second. And then for the 5.7, I got some 40 grain Federal. And I forget how fast this stuff goes, but should be pretty cool. Let me zoom you in on these rounds and give you a better look. And then I'm gonna go set these blocks up and we're gonna see how many shots it takes to split it apart. Here you go, left to right, we got 5.7, 22 mag, 17 HMR, then 22 LR. Comment down below which one you think is gonna take the least amount of shots. My vote is going with the 5.7, but I'm gonna start with the 22 LR. Let's load them up and see what happens. So, first we're gonna do the 22 LR. Yeah, we're recording. And this is my Ruger 10 22. Check it out. And I got 11 rounds. Hopefully that's enough. Otherwise, we're gonna have to reload here. Nine shots through it. Yeah. Let me empty these out. Oh, I think I got one more. Paul said that 22 LR had it through in nine. Let me go load it up or put a new block up and we'll go to 17 HMR. To tell you the truth, I th that took uh, less rounds. I thought we were going to have to reload it. Now, my 17 HMR. What is this? A Marlin Model 17 V. This doesn't hold as many rounds, but we'll see what the 17 HMR does. Cut it in half. It's still together. Still holding. We're gonna have to reload quick. Bolt action is a little bit slower and holds less rounds. I didn't even count that. Eight. Eight. Eight rounds so far. Surely we can get it to fall apart with this. Reload here. I think that back wall is still holding on. Is that a part? I'm gonna run the check. Let me check it right quick. Is that a 10 shot? Range cold. Paul's checking to see if it split. Hey, cut it. Cut it in half. We're we gonna call that one 10? Yeah. I think I last big chunk that I got it. 10. So, so far, the uh, 22 LR is winning. Now we got 22 mag. 22 mag ought to have more power than the 17, but you never know when we do these crazy things. I tell you what, that went all the way through that. 
Hmm. Oh, I didn't load one. I think that split it. How many was that? Five? Five for the 22 mag. Woo. That's got some power. Now, we're going to switch it up, put a new block up there, and go with the 5.7. See if we can beat it with five shots. Now, all these rifles so far have had scopes. A 5.7. This is a CMMG, a pistol lower, with a 5.7 barrel and CMMG's 40 round AR-15 conversion mag. Talk about a sweet setup. This is a sweet setup, but I got this loaded with 40 rounds. Surely it's not gonna take 40 rounds, but 22 mag took five. I'd like to think this could do close to the same or beat it, but let's see what it does. And this one I got a green laser on. Check that out. All right, green laser with the CMMG. Safety off. Well, I'm not as good as doing a straight line with the laser. <laughs> okay, that broke it. That took a lot more rounds, but uh, yeah. That's because I wasn't shooting that straight up a line. It actually took 10, ten. to break it because I deducted the two that you missed over the top. Oh, yeah. He even called me out for missing on that. <laughs> since this has 40 rounds and it's a whole lot of fun, let's, uh, let's mag dump this on the rest of it. Do it. See what we can do with it. Here we got it, but pretty sweet setup. I probably could have put a scope on there, made it a little bit more fair for this 5.7, but hey, that was a whole lot of fun. Thanks for coming along and watching the video with us today, guys. That was a whole lot of fun comparing all those and seeing what we could do to break that block down the center. Comment down below what you thought did the best and which is your favorite. As always, a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Who channel if you haven't already. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-hoo!